What's up, guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is your girl here, the one who started it all, and I have here a movie review. This was a good movie. <laughs> this movie was requested by Manny. Uh, Manny suggested that I watch this. And the movie he requested I watch, and I know for a fact I'm going to butcher it, Manny, Manny, <laughs> hope you're having a good day, Manny, hey, Bo. <laughs> uh, they suggested I watch a movie called, I know I'm going to butcher this, I know it, I know it, Kashan, Kashan. <laughs> K S H A N A M Kasham. So this movie was a good movie. Um, I will say the reason why I felt like this was a good movie is because this movie, at least not the concept, but the fact that there was a movie. Back in I believe 2003, 2004 called Flight Plan. And Flight Plan was about a woman who knew she had a daughter. Claimed she had a daughter but no one believed her and this was all during flight. Like I know I did not imagine my daughter. I know I have a daughter. Where is my daughter? You know. That's a good movie. If you guys want to watch that movie go ahead. You know so you know what I mean. But in this movie it was... You know, kind of like the same thing, only the way it was told, the way it was exec executed was completely different. Now, this guy named Rasha, uh, he goes to India under the pretense that he is going to a family, to, uh, excuse me, to a wedding of a family member. Um, he ends up getting a voicemail to see an old ex-girlfriend named Sweeta. I know I, me I messed that up. S W A T A. Now these guys went to school together. They were, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, they were thinking about marrying, but, uh, you know, she ends up being married off to to a dude named Karthik. Karthik. K A R T H I K. Um, who's the son of an entrepreneur? Um, what you know, this happens in Rishi, Risha, and Risha goes to San Francisco where he makes a career as a banker, the investment banker. And uh, so, fast forward years later, he meets up Sweeta at a restaurant and tells her, My daughter is missing, my five year old daughter is missing, and no one believes me. Um, Seeing, you know, his ex-girlfriend and seeing how much, you know, because, you know, no one believes me. Everyone's saying that I'm wrong. That child doesn't exist. She does exist. No one wants to help me out. My daughter, Raya, Raya, Raya exists. She's five years old. I can't find her anywhere. He does try, you know, to investigate. He's seen, seen that his ex-girlfriend, how much this means to her. He goes to uh, investigate, which he feels many, many times, you know. I mean, he's not a policeman. He's not a detective, you know. Uh, he could go to the police, but the police, if the police don't believe her, how are they going to believe him, you know. So he starts to investigate it, and with that, it does get him in trouble. Um, and with that, it ends up, he ends up getting himself into too much trouble by these two African-American dudes, but a guy named Baba goes in to help him, you know, like on humanitarian grounds, you know, and basically tells him, uh, you know, that he saw Bobby. Now, Bobby is Suita's brother-in-law, the brother of Qatar, and he often will visit Suita at her house. Um, and he also happens to be a drug addict. Um, so, you know, he starts to, you know, 
question, you know, he starts to question what's going on because him, you know, at, after Baba, Baba, yeah, Baba helps him out. He tells him about, you know, Bobby and, you know, things like that. He then takes the um, identity, you know, a false identity of a policeman and goes to talk to her husband, Suta's husband, and tells her, you know, well, she was attacked by these two masked thugs, you know, at a school. And when she came to, she was claiming up and down that we had a daughter. We are childless. We do not have a kid. You know, you know, she, I don't know where this is coming from. We don't have a kid, you know, and, um. He starts, you know, he looks at footage, you know, of the attack, and he starts to question Suita's, you know, sanity. Like, I don't see anything. I see you getting attacked. He goes to confront her about it and goes, I saw the footage. I saw, you know, telling her, you know, are you sure you have a daughter? You know, uh, this is you know, so perplexed. You know, everyone's saying you don't have a daughter, and I've done my fair share of investigation, you know. You don't have a daughter. I don't see Raya, you know, blah, blah, blah. Suita, you know, is like, I have a daughter, you know. I have a daughter. She does exist. You know, she starts to be hysterical. And then, you know, Risha sees something on the walls. He sees height, um, height measurements on the wall for a child. He goes, if she doesn't have a child, then why is that, you know, why does she have that on the walls? You know, that's you know, that's proof. Suta ends up taking her own life, feeling that she's, you know, I'm never going to see my daughter again. No one believes me. Oh, my God. She takes her own life. And uh, the police investigate it, going, yeah, this is suicide. He ends up teaming up uh, and with that all of a sudden the husband gets killed gets killed at the hotel he ends up teaming up with a woman named Jaya and Chowdhury Chowdhury I believe that's how you pronounce it basically and they get Bobby arrested to make it look like you know they get Bobby arrested for kidnapping right for kidnapping Raya. When Bobby is in custody, he ends up getting killed by Jaya out of defense, out of self defense. Now, Rish, Risha, I keep on saying Rish, I don't know why. Risha continues on with the investigation, but he ends up getting attacked. And Baba ends up getting killed in the process because he was protecting him. You know, he then find he then goes to the farmhouse where Jaya is, you know, tell him what's happening, you know, hey, I think you guys are in danger too, only to find that Raya is there. Turns out this was a whole elaborate plan by Jaya because Jaya, you know, lost her husband and her unborn child in a car accident. When she saw Raya she thought she was convinced that her daughter had come back. So she makes up this elaborate plan with the husband. Because the husband, get this, was sterile. Sterile. Meaning he can't have kids. So he allowed it to happen because out of revenge, because he thought Suita had cheated on him. That's not my daughter, you're not my wife, whatever happens, whatever. So they staged that attack. They took the little girl, and Jaya thought she would raise the little girl there. But hang on, hang on, hold up. This was the craziest twist. Like, holy mackerel. This movie just went from... You know, a 6 to a solid 9.9. 9.9. Turns out. So, she's about to kill the guy. Only he she gets killed by uh, Chadari. You know, and then the police comes in. Um, the police come in and everything. And they shoot Jaya dead. And turns out, yes. Raya is not... Kathanks 
daughter. She is his daughter. That five-year-old girl that he had been searching for was his own daughter. When they were, years ago, prior to that, they went to a wedding together and they they danced. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna, how I'm going to say it. They danced. Five years later, the little girl is five years old. Seeing that that is his daughter because it can't be Kathark's daughter because he finds out by, you know, he finds out, I, I think it was the police. was Yeah, it was the police that the guy was sterile. He can't have kids. So, of course, he had revenge on her. Like, okay, you can guys have her. I don't care. That's his own daughter. And when he realizes that he sees a reflection of his ex-girlfriend's smile. That is his own daughter that he was stopping at nothing to, you know, to get back. And he didn't even know. And he's like, well, <laughs> that was a shocker. You know, I, I had a feeling it was going to end up like that, but I didn't know it was going to end in that way. But yeah, that's what happened. In the end, turned out the little girl was his. <laughs> so I mean it's amazing with this movie how I felt was like it's amazing with the human spirits um, it's amazing with the human spirit and will it is amazing with a mother's intuition um, this guy who had nothing to do with this whole thing and I always did like movies where the average Joe you know the person that has nothing to do with the situation is like at the wrong place, wrong time kind of thing and ends up being pulled into this, you know, situation to where they got to get the heck out. You know, movies like Cellular and, you know, um, Eagle Eye, Unstoppable, Conspiracy Theory, The Net, you know, where people are just doing their jobs and somehow, the, you know, minding their business, doing their jobs and somehow they get Build into it, and that's what Risha was. He was, he was just some guy from San Francisco who just happened, you know, to get a call from his uh, ex girlfriend, and choosing to help her out. You know, seeing how much this is affecting her, chose to help her out and to get into the trouble that he got himself into. Nearly getting, you know, angering gangsters of the city to a point where he is being helped out by. A person who helps, who works for them, but helped him out, you know, hey, you know, uh, I can help you out. You know, I know what you are looking for, you know, things like that. You know. It's crazy, you know. But yeah, um, and to find out that the little girl is his little girl, wow, you know. Talk about, and that's what, you know, we as human beings are, you know. We are like. We have the ability to care for people, to love people, you know, it's called humanity and that's what he was. He had the humanity to help his ex, you know, his ex-girlfriend out, find her daughter and, you know, going through hell and back and back again. Even after his ex-girlfriend dies, he still feels like, let me go, let me go get this girl back because obviously she was right. Her sanity was not in question. She was right. And, you know, turns out I'm the girl's father and I'm going to take care of her. <laughs> yeah, it was a 9.9. .9. This movie was a 9.9. .9. So, uh, Manny, thank you for this movie. I hope that that is the same thing that you understood. With the human spirit of mother's intuition, the will to keep going, the will to, like, to still have hope and the will to do what's right. You know, and he felt the right thing to do was to find this girl. Even before he knew that this girl was his daughter, he still did what he felt was right. You know, even when it got him into trouble, he still kept going. You know, that will to do what is right, the will to find this girl. And bring her back home. Good movie, man. <laughs> Good movie. Um, so, yeah.
So I hope you guys enjoy this review. And you guys have a wonderful day. I don't know what else to say. If I keep saying what I'm saying, what I'm saying, I was going to be rambling. <laughs> so the movie was good. 9.9. .9. You know, the human soul, the will to keep going and a mother's intuition you know, and how people, you know, there are people in this world that want to be parents, but sometimes there's a reason why you can't be parents. And although I understood completely what Jaya is suffering, what she did was wrong. That is not what you do. You do not take another person's kid, you know, because, you know, and she did all, she did lose, a, you know, both her husband and her unborn child. That is sad. That's grief. But for you to take another person's child to fill that void in, that's wrong. She wanted to be a mother and she believed that that was her daughter. Okay, but that's not right. But, you know, it was a good movie and, um. Mother's intuition. Mother's intuition and the human will to do what's right and to keep going when even the odds are against you. That's what this movie seemed to have. So, you guys have a wonderful day and uh, be safe out there, guys. Bye.